Hello boys and girls. So today we are going to look at this very wonderful opportunity to study in Austria. The University of Vienna in Austria is one of the best universities in Austria, if not in Europe. And the opportunity we are looking at today is um, tuition free study for students from selected countries. So um, first of all, let's go through the whole um, tuition free tuition fee setup for for the universities. So as you can see here, the amount of tuition that a person pays varies with citizenship. By the way, remember everything uh, links to all the information that we are going to provide in the, this um, demonstration is down in the links in the description. So make sure to check them out, uh, subscribe as well, and um, leave any questions in the comments, and we shall respond as timely as we can. And then they also say that you have to pay your fees every semester. So that is like kind of the general. So first of all, Tuition depends on your country of citizenship, and then uh, tuition is paid per semester. And then it's very clear that uh, applicants from EU countries are exempted from paying tuition fees, but it expands on this. So the general rule is citizens from non-EU countries pay a tuition fee of 726 euros per semester. This is one of the lowest tuition fee payments that I've ever seen for a university in Europe. And in addition to that, they also pay a, un a student's union fee of 21 euros per semester. Now there are exemptions. Students from designated developing countries. So if you're a student from one of these countries, you are exempted from this tuition fee. So basically it's free study tuition free study the only thing you have to pay is the student students union fee and that is that is just one, 21 euros per semester so students from these countries that we are going to sit down here pay zero tuition zero so if you are a student from one of these countries listed in this list you enjoy tuition free study in Austria, the University of Vienna. Make sure you are part of this list, tuition free. And we are going to see the procedure of applying and um, beginning your studies tuition free. Another exemption is students from EU countries, like we've already said, those don't pay. And then Ukrainian citizens as well are exempted from tuition fee. So all students that are exempted from tuition fee only have to pay the student's union fee, that is 21 euros per semester. The rest is free completely. Okay, so a recap. Students from countries listed here don't have to pay anything. Just the Students' union fee per semester, 21 euros, and that's it. The rest is free. Okay. So let's assume you are one of, a student from one of these countries, and you are um, interested in applying for this tuition free study. The first thing you have to do is to go to the degree programs, definitely, and look for the degree that you want to apply for. So you have to choose which degree program you want to apply for. Okay, let's look at the master's degrees. Um, here are all the degrees are listed here. And first of all, you have to choose the degree program you want to apply for. Okay, let's take um, computer science for that case. Uh, the pay, the, on the degree program page, you'll see all the information regarding the degree program, the code the number of semesters and the credit units of the degree. The language of instruction is very important. So see that most of the master's degrees 
uh, degrees are offered in English. So that is a very big advantage. So this one is offered in English and there are no, no interest examinations. So basically admission is based on your um, previous academic uh, uh, grades. So there are no interest exams for this degree program. So this is a very good degree program that um, no interest fees, it's offered in English and everything is very clear here. They give you the number of students, the number of semesters needed to complete the degree program. So everything is streamlined. And the curriculum here, they talk about the degree program, what subjects you're going to take and stuff like that. And now we'll say the uh, degrees offered in English. So we need to look at the English uh, requirement for the degree. So what you do, you go here to the English language requirements and they will tell you exactly what uh, requirements they will need for each degree program. So for example here, so you have all um, the degrees taught in English here and the English language requirements here. All right. So you can choose your degree program and go over and see the language requirement that is um, required for that uh, degree program. So as you can see here, some languages require English C1, some require B2, some require uh, C2 or whatever. So how do you know that you meet the English language requirement? So click on the English requirement provided for your degree program and the list of um, uh, ways you can meet the language requirement uh, probably, uh, sorry, are all provided here. So as you can see, for B2, you can either provide a certificate or a proof. So a proof means you don't necessarily need a certificate. So a proof, for example, if you completed your secondary school in English, Secondary School Living Certificate with Successful Graduation Exam in English. So that fulfills the requirement for B2. So you don't need any IELTS, you don't need any TOEFL, you don't need any Cambridge, nothing. Or if you completed an IB diploma according to regulations of the International Baccalaureate Organization. Or if you have a certificate in supplementary examination in the subject of English. So or if you have a diploma, transcript of records, in other words, you did your uh, post-secondary education or bachelor's degree for that case in English, no IELTS, nothing. So this will prove that you, have, uh, you, you meet the requirement for a B2. So a simple recap, if you did your secondary school, high school in English, or you did your bachelor's that is, if you are applying for a bachelor's degree taught in English, or you did your first degree or bachelor's degree in English, you don't need any IELTS. If you don't meet any of these requirements here, that means you have to provide a certificate uh, proving that you have uh, enough English proficiency. And the required um, scores are provided here as well. That, that was for B2. For C1, degree program must be at least two years, taught and taught in English at a university in an EU country or the country specified here. So that one meets the criteria for C1. I, otherwise, you have to provide uh, certificates with the scores as uh, specified here. For C2, it's the same case. Degree taught in English for at least two years in an EU country and any of these uh, other non-EU countries, you meet the criteria. Otherwise, you have to provide a certificate and the scores, required scores are also provided there. So that, that is uh, all to do with, uh, with the English language proficiency. So if you meet the language uh, 
proficiency requirements, you can now go ahead and start uh, applying. So let's see how the procedure works. So go back here and go back to the program page and click on information about admission. And here they will specify we've already looked at. Um, so for example, this program requires you to have a B2. So we saw that a B2, if you did your secondary school in English or you did your bachelor's degree in English, basically you don't need any certificates. So you are uh, good to go to start applying for this program. So you should look at other description of qualifications if you want here, but that, that was kind of the main qual qualification. Uh, now you need to select where you obtain your degree from. If you obtain your degree from University of Vienna, you click on here, otherwise you click on degree from another university. When you click on that, you find this page. You must look at the deadlines first. So citizens, non-EU citizens right here. For the winter semester, the application period is from 11th July to 5th September. And study start 1st October. So apply as soon as possible. And then those who are applying for the summer semester next year to start from 9th January to uh, 5th February. And studies will start in, in March. So, right, if you should select, you should select which um, uh, session you want to apply for. And then uh, now the next stage will be looking at the required documents. First of all, they will need the passport or personal ID card in JPEG or PNG file format. Your high, your rather, your higher education degree certificates, diplomas and supplements. If they are not issued in English or German, you have to provide a translation of, for all the certificates that you're going to upload. And then proof of English language proficiency, like we've already said. B2, if you did your high school in English or your bachelor's degree in English, that is your proof of English language well, proficiency. If you don't have any of those two, you have to provide a certificate, an English language certificate. And then further documents specified in the curriculum, like for example, statement of purpose. So if you click on the curriculum here, you select a program and then it will show you the extra documents you have to submit. But these are the main documents that you need. So the first step on applying, okay, let's assume you for um, arrange your passport or ID card, you have your certificates already uh, arranged as well, your proof of English are arranged as well, uh, and any other documents that are um, requested by your degree program you should start applying right away. So the first step is applications are submitted via the use space. That is the portal for applying for your degree program. So the first step is to create your use space account. And within your space, use space account, that's why you're going, you, you be able to complete your application. So let's see how to create a use space account, and then uh, that will enable you to complete your application basically. How to register in USpace. For the registration in USpace, you will need a scan of your passport or ID card in format JPEG or PNG. Prepare this document ahead. Start the registration process online on uspace.univie.ac.at. To log into uspace, you need a U account. You will be redirected to the website of the Vienna University Computer Center. Enter your personal data. Make sure the email address is correct. Read and accept the terms of use of the U account and continue to step 2. Choose your user ID and set a password. Make sure to remember your U account. 
It is your access to all IT services of the University of Vienna. If you want to reset your password in case of loss by email, check the box for your emergency email address and continue the process. You will receive an activation link via email. Click on the link within 24 hours and you will be redirected to the final step of the U account setup. Finish the setup by choosing the button Activate U account. You will be redirected to USpace. Log in to USpace with your U account. Select the service Study. You will be redirected to the registration for prospective students. Fill in your personal data for the registration and upload a scan of your passport or ID card. Please mind that your scan is in format JPEG or PNG and has a maximum of 5 MB. Great! Now you can use USpace.